What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. Today is just going to be a quick video. I'll give a little update on a couple things, but then I'm going to bring my wife in here in a few minutes and she'll give an update on her recovery. It's now six weeks uh, yesterday, well, two days ago from the day you're watching this, but six weeks from Wednesday that she is post-op from her surgery, so she'll do a little update there. Uh, but one of the cool things today was I finally got in the mail this little placard here. Uh, this is from the Laurel Highlands race that I did in June. Uh, June, I forget what day it was. Oh, it does the date right there. June 12th, uh, 2021. So almost 10 months later, finally get the uh, little plaque. I don't know if you can see it there, but it just says, you know, Laurel Highlands, 70.5 miles. Has my name and my time of 16 hours, 59 minutes and 35 seconds. So I'll apply that. It's got tape on the back, which is cool. I'll stick it right there and finally get that up there. So that'll be nice. But other than that, I am really looking forward to today, Friday, because it's a rest day. My legs are very tired. I have been doing a lot of training. Tuesday was a very hard workout on the hill, just a four by five minute hill intervals. And it was, uh, it was tough. It was very, very tough. Uh, and then Wednesday was a double. So I had to wake up and run early in the morning before I took the kids to school and then run again later in the day. And just, yeah, my legs are beat. So I'm really looking forward to a rest day. That's it now for that. Let's bring the wife in and we will hopefully she won't laugh during the whole thing and we'll uh, get a little update. All right, so now. That... <laughs> and it starts. Um, so anyway, okay. how's recovery going? Give us an update. Uh, it's going pretty good. I have been going to PT now since day two of recovery. So I got quite a few weeks of, of physical therapy twice a week. Um, Obviously, as you can tell, no crutches. Crutches? She's been crutchless how long? Since like week three. Uh, week three? Yeah, about about week four, I had a pretty significant, I don't know, recovery. Growth. Or, growth, yeah. growth, yeah. So I was, I'm walking almost normal unless I'm getting pretty tired and then I get a little bit limpy or if I'm just not paying attention, I get kind of limpy. Uh, a little bit limpy. <laughs> But anywho, so in physical therapy, I'm up to, I do like single leg bridges, some banded walking, some mini hurdles, I'm on the bike. Hurdles by not No, no, the, <laughs> not little, the little things about this, yeah, about this time. Little step overs. Um, what else? I'm on the bike. doing Elliptical trainer? No, I'm on, the, no. on a stationary bike. Okay. And I'm doing, what else am I doing? Some crunches, some planks. So that's kind of give you an idea of what kind of level of, of recovery I'm on. Doing some sing, some single leg balancing on a Bosa ball. That's pretty so cool. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. That's tough for me. No. <laughs> <It's pretty hard. laughs> um, for the most part, I do pretty well. Um, I'm, I'm to the point in recovery where I actually have to be more careful because I feel good. And when I feel good, I try to do more than I should. Like today, today. I tried, I'm getting ready for, for my race. Uh, and I was trying to lift some things and lifting from a squat position, like on the ground, lifting up is a no, no. And I tried to do it anyway and I'm, I'm not feeling so hot. So I had to ice some more, but, um, yeah, gotta be know, careful. It is what it is. Anything that I'm missing in my recovery update here? No, it's going pretty well. She's driving, oh, yeah, driving, driving fine. Um, well, it's whenever I get in the car after she's driven, it's like, I mean, I have to adjust the seat, I have to adjust everything because she's way back because she still doesn't want to get the leg in that position where, you know, I sit more upright when I drive, I guess. Uh, but she's leaning way back. Laid back. With my mind on my money and my money on my mind. So, yeah. Not as much as I was when I first started driving. Yeah. But no, I don't think so. I think it's going pretty well. You have a follow up appointment with your surgeon. It's just a telem doc tell kind tell of follow up, but when is that? That's uh, next Tuesday. I have a telemed appointment, and then I'll get new physical therapy orders because my original phys physical therapy was only for six weeks. My physical therapist said that I'll probably be at least there twelve weeks because um, I want to get returned to sport. So they have return to activity and return to sport, and since I'm I'm shooting for return to sport, then it's a little bit more intensive in the physical therapy department. But luckily, we've already met her deductible, so <laughs> yeah, very, very good about that, but not good at the same time. So yeah, her recovery is going well. So that's what's going on. She is getting ready for the race. We've got that now, not this weekend, but the next weekend. So very close. 
Registration is still open. If you want to come run a 5K, 10K, or half marathon on the road in Jamestown, Tennessee at a brewery, by all means, please come do it. It'd be a lot of fun. I'll put a link in the description just in case. Or maybe you want to volunteer. That'd be really cool. We need some volunteers to come help with the race. So if you're semi-local or just want to come up and support and hang out for the day, we'd love to have you. <laughs> what? What? I'm just listening. I'm interested in what you're saying. All right, well, anyway, thank you for watching. We do appreciate you all. Uh, if you want to take a look at the Laurel Highlands video, since I finally got the plaque for the uh, medal over there, or the award, it's going to be on this side of your screen, kind of over right here. You can take a look at that. It's a really cool race. If you haven't done it and you want to do a 70-mile race, I highly recommend it. Uh, and then we'll put a playlist. Uh, I'll throw up the her hip surgery playlist to see more stuff about hip surgery over this area. It's all in hips. It's all in hips. So thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.